In this video, I want to demonstrate how to make this extrude cut feature shown here. So first I'm going to control tab back to my other part. We want to sketch in this 45 degree plane. So I'm going to select the plane either in the feature tree or in the graphics area. So I can select that out here as well and I'm going to tell it to look normal too. If I don't like that normal too, I can just look normal too again and it'll rotate it around 180 degrees. So now that I have my plane selected, I want to make a cut feature in this part. And to make a feature, we need a sketch first, but we don't have to go to sketch first. I can tell it with the plane selected that I'd like to make an extrude cut. And SolidWorks will know I need to make a sketch first and that I want to sketch in this plane. So I don't have to activate sketch, exit the sketch, and then make the feature. I can just select the feature with the plane or face I want to work from selected. So now that I have that selected, I'm just going to click in white space. And I don't want to see my plane. So I come over here and I'm going to right click on it and I'm just going to hide it. And I also don't want to see the axis as it might confuse me. So again, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to tell to hide. So now I want to use my convert entities. I'm going to use convert to entities and I want to convert the edges of the part. So to do that, I'm going to get near them and if my graphics card's working right. They'll turn orange and select them. So I'm going to select these two edges and I'm going to convert them. And again, I'm going to right click to accept that. And now that I converted them, converted entities are fully defined. They have these on edge relationship, but I can change the length of them if I want by dragging the endpoint around. So you notice as soon as I do that, the endpoint goes blue. Next, I'm going to use mouse gestures and activate line. And I want to create a line from here to here. And then I'm going to push escape. These three entities, I'll window select and I'd like them to be construction geometry, so I'll change them to construction geometry. The whole reason I created these is because it's sometimes really hard to convert this edge of the part, the rounded edge, and it's easier to convert these, but I really needed this edge. So now I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna create a center line, and I'm gonna select the midpoint of this bottom line, and I'm gonna create a center line. The direction doesn't matter, does matter it's vertical. I can either go this way or this way and I'm just going to come up on my part, click and push escape and now I've created a vertical center line. And I'm going to use that because I want to create symmetrical geometry about the center. Next I'll use mouse gestures again and I'll activate line. So I'm going to click on the center line over here and I'm going to come down and past here and click then over and across and click again and I'll push escape. This endpoint here I want coincident with the center line. So I'm going to select it, hold control, select my center line, release control, and add the coincident relationship. So that will stay coincident. Next, I'll use mouse gestures to activate smart dimension and I want this angle to be 45 degrees. So I'm going to select this line and I'm going to move over and select the center line and then I'm going to move down and I'm going to click to place that and I'm going to enter 45 degrees. Just like before when we did the diameter or double dimension, you notice how the mouse has the A and the center line beside it. That means I only need to select one feature and it'll give me the angle relative to the center line. However, I don't want another angle, so I'm going to push escape once. What I do want is I want a dimension from this edge to this line. So I'm going to move over, hit, move over, click and place it, and I'll make that 25 thou. This dimension here is not important. It's just so that my sketch is outside of the part. It'll make the cut work better. I don't want it too close to the edge. Sometimes that will cause difficulty. And then I want to dimension the depth of the cut. So I'm going to select again this line and this endpoint. I'll move over and click to place it. I'll make that distance 50 thou and I'll push escape. I have a fully defined sketch but not a closed shape. What I want is this V cut through the part on both sides of the center line. So next, I'm going to tell it I want to mirror some entities. So I'm going to select mirror entities. I want to copy the entities I mirror. And over here, it's asking what entities do I want to mirror. So I'm just going to again window select these two lines. And I'll right click to tell it I've done that selection. And now the mirror about field will be active. And I'm going to choose this center line. And I'll right click to accept that and I've created my fully defined sketch and I see it shaded. So I'm going to rotate around just a little bit so I can see that sketch better. 
I'm going to right click and exit my sketch and now it'll take me to the cut extrude. I would like this feature to cut all the way through the part in both directions. So my end condition will be through all and both. Choosing the through all end condition means if I change my part shape, it'll always cut through the entire length of the part. So I'll say OK. And if I look at it isometrically, I've now created that little cut for the finger to grip this with.